I'm your host Mikey, today bringing you a crochet along project. It's my very first time ever hosting one, and it's the very first time allfreecrochet.com is ever doing one. So together we're charting those uncharted waters and figuring out our way to make a really fun project. So when we got thinking about the project that we're going to do, we're going to give some prizes away. So we have a link in the more information of this video if you want to look down for that link. You can actually get all the criteria, so you don't need to grab a pen when I'm talking about the materials. You can go right to that blog if you wish. And we wanted to create something fun. So our crochet along project, we didn't want to do an afghan because it takes too long. We didn't want to do a baby product because not everybody's shooting out babies. And we didn't want to do a product that's based on a season. So I was sitting on the couch and I'm thinking, what are we going to possibly do? And then I seen these old, tatty little uh, cushions. And I got thinking to myself, you know, I really do want to go up and get some more. And then I, it occurred to me, why don't I just crochet something that I could either put over top of this, or I can get a pillow form at a store and crochet some fabulous pillows. So what we have here is that we have three pillows, but this is classified as pillow one over here, and this is classified as pillow two, both of these. Okay, so there's slightly different pattern, and it's the fringing that is the difference as well as the yarn materials that we're using. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to run over the materials and the choices, and there's disadvantages to both of these particular projects because of the fact of the materials that we've used. So let's go through that next. And let's review what's in pillow number one. And pillow number one, just for your information, is actually the quicker pillow to produce versus the pillow number two. And the reason for it is that there's less fuss with the yarn associated and the yarn actually stretches more uh, to be able to create this fabulous little pillow. Now pillow number one versus pillow number two has more tighted finish on the end and you'll notice that there's no like fringing or anything like that happening. To be able to create this pillow you need a 10 millimeter or a size N crochet hook, it's bigger than normal, and you only need three balls of the Red Heart Light and Lofty and you can just go to any standard crafting store including Walmart to be able to pick up this product. However, if you want your pillow to be different on both sides, you are not going to need three, you are going to need four. What happens is that one ball will take you about three quarters of the way up and then the second ball then just finishes it off and the same on the other side. You can either go to Walmart or another crafting store to get the pillow form that's currently inside this and this is a 16 inch by a 16 inch pillow form, there's all different kinds of sizes, roughly about five bucks. So altogether this project is the cheaper pillow of the two as far as uh, cost and roughly will cost you about $20 in order to complete from start to finish. Now let's review pillow number two. Pillow number two is the same thing, you're going to need a size 10 millimeter or a size N crochet hook, but you're going to need different materials in order to pull this off. And I want to explain the difference between the pillow that's in behind and the pillow that you see in front. But I'm going to go through the list of materials first. First of all, to complete this project, you need to have three balls minimum of the Bernat mosaic and the mosaic is what's doing the color transitioning on its own so I actually think you, you think I'm actually an artist, I'm really not, it's actually the yarn doing the work so you're going to need three balls of that in order to complete this project you're going to need three balls of eyelash yarn to be able to complete the back of this project because this back of this project is not only eyelash yarn but it's actually red heart super saver and it's black Okay, we have the dimensions and everything that you need in the link of the more information of this video. You can also use an unused or a cushion that you want to get rid of that's in your house, or you can also go to Walmart get the pillow frame that's 16 inches by 16 inches for about five dollars. Altogether, I worked out the cost for this to be about a $36 uh, range, but it really does produce an amazing look when it comes to your pillows. So I want to explain to you the difference between these two pillows, even though it's the same pattern, because it's going to justify the amount of yarn that you're going to need for the front face when we do that next. So let's review pillow number two, and pillow number two, the major difference of these is the color transitioning. Now, you can use three balls of yarn, okay, for each of these, and it will work out because you need three balls. But you can see that there's a fundamental difference between the one that this one, the way that this looks versus this one. This one here, I just took the balls and I just started the colors wherever the ball started. I didn't care. I just made it just go. I know the colors match. And you're going to notice that it's going to cause its own effect going on. With this one here, I was more conscious that I wanted to really keep that rainbow transitioning going. So what's going to happen is that this ball here is starting off orange. So what I want to do is that I want to get this ball and I want to start this ball so that it's in the orange tinge somewhere, either in front of the orange tinge, like color-wise that it's transitioning out of orange or coming into orange. And so I want to just, you know, I'm going to waste yarn if you can imagine that. So you're going to pull it out and you want to start up this ball 
exactly where this one is also uh, also as well. The third ball, I also want to start it where the orange tinge is. So what's going to happen is that you're going to see that at certain points, the colors then all match each other just for a little bit, and then they start separating back out again. And this is what's creating this really beautiful look. However, the front faces here take up almost one of these whole balls. So when you go to waste as much as it is to, in order to create this, you're going to be you know, you're going to be yarn short, I'm sure of it. So, because that's what happened with me. So I'm going to need a fourth ball on the side in order to just compensate, just in case that where you had to start, you had to waste too much yarn in the beginning of the ball in order to get the transitioning to match just fine. Either way, these pillars are magnificent. It's just the color transitioning. What's more important for you to look more in sync or to be more randomized and really quite designer looking. So that's it for now. We're going to meet back here on February 29th of 2012 where we're going to launch the second video of three on how to create these pillows and we're going to work on the front and the backs together. Remember, this is a contest so we have a very limited time. In the more information of this video, you're going to find a link and that link will have the materials that I talked about in this video in order for you to just check off because maybe you have some of this product, maybe you've got to order it online or maybe you just have to run to the store in order to follow along with this crochet project. Until later, we'll see you right here on behalf of allfreecrochet.com. I'm your host, 